Whether you're playing to a chord sheet or improvising on your own, sometimes it's hard to know on the piano how to get a professional sound. I'm going to show you a really easy way to take any progression and make it sound more professional. Hey, thanks for joining me for another video. My name is Jared Messer. I am the creator of worshipmusicacademy.com. And I want to share with you in this video something that I discovered a long time ago. Super cool, super easy way to improvise and make it sound really fresh and really interesting. Uh, so let me lay the groundwork a little bit. So often if you're going to be improvising, uh, you're working from some kind of a chord progression or an idea that you have about, I might be playing something simple like moving up the keyboard or I might be playing a progression like one, six, four, five. If you're not familiar with number system, that would be like a, a C chord would be a one if you're in C, six would be A minor, four would be F, five would be G. So you might have a progression that you're playing, but they, they may sound a little bit stale. Like for example, I might play one to a four, to a five, to a six, to a five, to a four. So someone may be talking or I might be filling in space or I might just be playing on my own, just playing through songs or thinking through music. Well, let me share with you a really easy way to take something that sounds basic, so simple. I've used this in professional settings before, leading worship or playing different circumstances, and it really, really works great. It's so easy. So let's take that same prog progression that I just played, and it was this. So I'm working in the key of C. So um, this is my right hand, and I'll just play one finger on the left hand to make it easier. So I'll play the octaves in the left hand, so just or just one note in the left hand. So we got a C chord. Then we're going to move up to an F. We're going to go to a G. We're going to go to A minor. Back to G. Back to F. Then we'll have a little cadence here, which is the end of a section. Back to G. Back to 1, or C. So here's the trick. Instead of just playing those, those chords going up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the left hand go ahead and move to the new chord but the right hand is gonna play the chord that I'm on one more time before I change. Now, that sounds a little confusing. It's, it sounds like this. So if I'm on C, and I'm gonna to go to F, I'm gonna take my left hand and move to F, but my right hand is gonna play C one more time before I change to F, like this. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna go to G. So I go up to G, so my left hand's gonna to move to G, but my right hand is going to stay on F one more time, like this. And then I'm going to do it again, going to 6. So I go to the 6, which is A minor. My left hand is going to move to A, but my right hand is going to play the G again, like this. I'm going to go back down. Right? Really, really simple. And when you add some inversions, meaning I don't play a straight triad, I might play an inversion, I can get something that sounds like this. And all I'm doing is that same pattern. So when I change chords, when I move the chord in the left hand or I change chords, the right hand plays the chord before it, before I change. So here's another example. I'll play the same thing. I'm going to play a little bit of some inversions here, a little bit different, but it's still the same pattern. So here's C. And I'm going to go to C in the right hand. F's going to change in the left hand, but the right hand is going to stay there. If I add a little bit of space between the notes, it might sound like this. So I've taken that simple pattern, and all I'm doing is staying on the same chord with the right hand before I change. And it works in different chord progressions, too. Let's say we're going to play this one to six to four to five to one. I could do the same thing. I can play this. Isn't that 
crazy. You can play it going up. Let's say I'm gonna play one, two, three, four, something like this. I could make it more like this. <laughs> right? Do a lot of different things. So it's a real simple way to take what seems like an ordinary progression. All we're going to do is delay the change. The left hand is going to make the change, and then the right hand is going to play the same chord it was on, and then switch. All right? I hope that helps you. Try that out on your own. Experiment. You can even do that with song progressions. Holding on to that last, the second chord, the chord before you change, it makes a whole new sound. I hope that helps you in your playing. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I really hope it'll help you in your playing. Uh, if you want to keep up with everything that we're doing on the channel, you can click right below to subscribe. If you want to watch another video like the one you just saw, you can click right over here. And if you want to hear more about our worship piano course, which has helped literally tens of thousands of people all over the world learn to play worship piano like a pro, click right down here. Hope to meet you soon. God bless you.